again, it's Spartan. Today we are going to be in chemistry. Chemistry. That's what we are going to be studying today. And chemistry is the science which deals with the study of nature, composition and properties of what? Matter. Chemistry is the science that deals with the nature, composition and properties of what? Matter. Chemistry is the science that deals with the nature, composition and properties of what? Matter. And the changes that matter will undergo under different what? Conditions. And the changes the matter will undergo under different what? Conditions. Chemistry is the science. Chemistry is the science that deals with the nature, composition, and properties of matter. And the changes that this very matter will undergo under different what? Conditions. So what are examples of chemistry have undergoing or happening in our everyday life? Rusting of iron. Palm wine, souring. Souring of palm wine. Another one. Medicine production. Hmm? Production of medicine. Production of medicine. That it uses chemistry. What else? Melting. Melting of ice to water. Is it not? So chemistry is all about the nature. Study the science that studies the nature. Composition and what? properties of matter. And what is matter? We know that matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Just like a stone is a matter. Me now, I, can, I could be called a matter because I have mass and I occupy a specific space. Isn't it? Yes. A block of ice is matter. You know what ice is? The one you take out from your fridge is matter because it has mass. If you put it on a weight balance, you see the mass and it occupies a given space, so it's matter. Hmm? Yes. So when you're talking about chemistry, you study the nature of that ice block. How is the ice block arranged? Why is it blocked and it's not in liquid form? The composition, what the ice block is made up of. You know the ice block is H2O, it's water, but in solid form. So you know the composition, that is made up of hydrogen and what? Oxygen. Then the property. The property, you understand, the characteristics of the ice block is in solid form. But you know that when the temperature increases to say 100 or above room temperature, it will start what? Melting. So chemistry also studies the what? The changes that this very ice block undergo from changing, by changing from ice block to what? Liquid, which is water. So that is chemistry. So when you study the natural composition of things, and the changes they undergo under different conditions. Because when the temperature is zero, it will be in form of what? Ice. But when the temperature is room temperature, it will start melting to liquid. And when it is 100, it will start boiling and changing to what? Gaseous state. So that is chemistry. And we've said that there are other things that show chemistry in nature, like what? Palm wine turning sour. Is it not? Yes. Rusting of what? Iron. Is it not? Yes. What else? Burning of substances. Burning of substances. When substances burn, that is chemistry. Use chemistry to explain that. What else? All those ones. You understand? So we can say that chemistry is the science that deals with the nature, is it? Yes. Composition, is it? Yes. And what? Properties of, of what? Matter. Matter. And the changes matter undergo under what? Different conditions. So that is what chemistry is, and that is what we will be detailing in our subsequent uh, lectures. 
So we say that examples of chemistry in nature, examples of chemistry, or example of chemical processes that occur around us. So examples of chemistry in our environment happening. Number one, we say this word, burning of what? Burning of substances can be explained using chemistry. Number two is what? Rusting of iron. Rusting of iron is a chemistry phenomenon. Just as a burning of what? Substances. Number three is what? Palm wine is sold after some time. Palm wine, when palm wine sours afterwards, after some time. That is, can you be explained using chemistry? Isn't it? So, what are the chemical process that, that you can see in our very day? Production of fertilizers. That is chemistry. We use chemistry. Production of food, even food and fertilizer. So, all this could be explained using what? Chemistry. You can use chemistry to explain the process of burning of substances. You can use chemistry to explain rusting of iron. You can use chemistry to explain palm wine souring after some time. And you can use chemistry to explain the production of food substances. Is that clear? Yes, so in summary, the chemistry is the science that deals with the nature, composition, and properties of matter. And changes matter undergo under different conditions. Then examples of chemistry in nature or in our everyday life talk about burning of substances, rusting of iron, palm wine souring after some time, and what production of food and what fertilizers. Is that clear? So we're gonna move on. Now, we look at the uh, importance of chemistry in our everyday life. What are the importance of chemistry? Why are you learning chemistry? What are the importance of chemistry in our everyday life? Importance of chemistry in our everyday life. Life. What are the importance of chemistry in our everyday life? Why are we learning chemistry? Number one, we learn chemistry to have a better understanding of matter. With the knowledge of chemistry, you know why you will be able to explain why ice is blocked in ice form and it's water or liquid in water form and it's what vapor in gaseous form so knowledge of chemistry explains this you know that when the temperature is increased the particles of the ice are given kinetic energy to move so chemistry explains that so chemistry allows you to have a better understanding of what matter number two reason why you study chemistry is what what are the other things chemistry can do for you? Good. Chemistry will accord you better understanding understanding of changes that happen in the environment. So with chemistry you understand you understand changes more. What are examples of those changes? Burning. You understand what how burning occurs. Rusting. Souring, food production, food production, etc. So knowledge of chemistry enables you to understand how burning happens, how roasting happens, how souring happens, how food is manufactured. Is that clear? Yes. Then what other thing can chemistry help you do? Good. Chemistry can help you in fertilizer and insecticide manufacture, isn't it? So you can use the knowledge of chemistry in this. Number four, what other things can chemistry help you do? It can help you for in producing synthetic fiber 
for what? For clothing. For clothing. What other things? Does not good industry and good chemistry can help those people working in what? Pharmaceutical industries. Isn't it? Yes. For the production of drugs. Chemistry can also help in the production of alloys. Yes. Alloys are used in uh, building of cars and other steel works, isn't it? Yes, sir. Then finally, what else can chemistry help you do? It will help you in knowing the word suitable fuels. Suitable fuels. So knowledge of chemistry will help you to know what kind of fuel is suitable for jet engine, automobiles. You understand? Yes.